So tell me about your place. This is it. In all its splendor. Giving us permission to really tell his story, Spencer Kirkpatrick led us into his world. He's not ashamed of being homeless. In a city with extremely high illegal drug use, he's focused on ending his own struggles with heroin. I'm fighting for my life right now, really, is honestly what it is. Hi there. Hello, Spencer. Morning. Morning. Hey, Spencer and others, as part of their recovery, are sharing stories of life, loss, and recreating themselves on an opioid podcast. This is Smack in the Middle. Episode. Smack in the Middle is produced in the conference room at the Man Alive Substance Abuse Treatment Center in Midtown Baltimore. The host, Sherry Elliker, is a former WBAL radio broadcaster. Homeboys, as you call them. Um, how many died because of drugs? Most of them. Most of them? Yeah. I got more friends in the cemetery than I had walking around. You're going to hear from the experts, and I refer to the clients as the experts. They live it, they breathe it, and they struggle with it every day. And it is a fight, because, you know, you still mess up when you're an addict. You don't the men say at all times they carry Narcan, which can end an overdose. They also talk about losing family members to heroin addiction. Did it, did it make you slow down at all? No, actually, it made me use more. Which led to depression and more drugs to numb the pain. The men say they want another chance at the dreams they cast aside when drugs took control. Kevin Childers sells clothes on the street corner. Sports attire, different name brand and off brand new and used. Foot Joy Professional dress shoes, these are nice too. He is an aspiring rapper and plans to get back into modeling and acting. Spencer is again playing guitar. Both men stress how opioid use became a form of self-medication and how they are trying to break the cycle. I'm a living inspiration to tell you don't go that way, don't, don't cross that path. They hope their words on the Smack in the Middle podcast educate others as well as help them with their recovery. I'm still fighting, but I'm a win. You know, those podcasts are cool in a way because people listen to those and you get more in depth into a subject as opposed to just seeing a little segment on the news. Thank you so much. Thank you for, for helping us out today. Thank you for getting the word out and for letting people know your stories. We appreciate you sharing very much. For the 11 News I-Team, I'm Barry Sims.